I'm in Jiling, Zhejiang, East China. Now, you may find this hard to believe, but this is one of thousands of villages in the province that was plagued by pollution and poor infrastructure just 15 years ago. Now, the mountains are greener, the water is cleaner, and the people are richer. So, how has Zhejiang cleaned up its act? And how do beautiful villages translate to a beautiful China? This is Xinhua Special, I'm Roisin Timmons. From 2002 to 2007, when Xi Jinping was party secretary of Zhejiang, the battle with pollution really came to a head. After the implementation and enforcement of environmental protections, beautiful villages thrived across the province. Here on Tonji Lake, it's a gorgeous spring day. The surroundings are just perfect, and I'm taking the chance to enjoy it. But less than two decades ago, the water was brown from industrial activity in the area. Possibly the biggest contributor was the crystal industry, where measures have been introduced to protect water resources. More than 300 million people visited rural Zhejiang last year, and that's meant a windfall for the locals, like the owners of this B&B. And it's not just those in the tourism industry who are benefiting. <laughs> tourism brought 35 billion yuan to Zhejiang's countryside last year. But more people mean more problems, including dealing with a lot of waste. Well, this may not be the best place I've ever filmed at, but... I guess it's interesting to see where the sausage is made, so to speak. In Pujang County, 100 tons of kitchen and garden waste is collected daily and turned into organic fertilizer. The other waste is collected and sorted at recycling centers across the county, where more than 60 tons of paper and 15 tons of plastic are processed daily. Which means that 28,000 tons is saved from landfill in a year. According to Xi, beautiful villages means making sure rural areas are prosperous, Beautiful, civilized, and livable. This is a process that will reach far into the future. And Zhejiang's progress with beautiful villages has become even more significant now that beautiful China has been incorporated into China's plans for future development. Across the world, we are becoming increasingly aware of the toll humans are taking on Mother Nature. China is still working on the best ways to give its people a better life in harmony with the environment. But with continued investment in infrastructure, environmental protection and new technologies, it's clear that the government has made a concrete commitment, not just to clean up, but to keep it that way. As she said, any harm we inflict on nature will eventually return to haunt us. This is the reality we have to face. See you next time.